Okay, so the problem is that this flange joint right here between the catalyst and the resonator, which also you know is a long pipe that goes back to the uh, exhaust pipe, is, is rusted out here so badly that it's only really only held on with one more with one bolt on this flange here. You can see the gap here. If you look at it. See that there. It's, yeah, it's ready to fall apart. The pipe was actually drooping, you know, within three inches of the ground. That's when I noticed it was a problem. In addition to the, of course, loud noise coming from here. So my plan is to, uh, using whatever means, angle grinder as much as possible, because it's far easier. Possibly a handsaw, possibly a Dremel tool. We're going to cut this right close to this flange, this pipe. The same thing on the other side here, on the catalyst side. I'm going to cut it off here. And then I'm going to, uh, put a uh, butt splice in there, exhaust two inch butt splice, it's a two inch diameter pipe OD, and now uh, we'll see what happens. I've got a view on the catalyst side here. What I think I'm going to do is cut these apart first, this remaining bolt, and I can maybe back this thing away and it'll dangle down a little bit, making it easier to cut that one around. There's little I can do on the catalyst though because it's going to just hang there. In fact, I think I'm going to support it a little so I don't stress out the connection up at the manifold. So I'm going to stick a little, um, stick a jack under it. Okay, so we've got this one separated. And it looks like we are still holding on a little bit somewhere else here. The top is off. And I've got a jack under there now, holding up the catalyst. Before I realized what was happening here, I had installed a little, kind of a makeshift little hanger on a wire cable, steel braided cable. So um, I'm going to take that off now so I can let this pipe dangle a little bit. Right, and that brought it down some. Now it's resting on a cross member back here. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is use a reciprocating saw for the most part to cut this part, cut this flange off of here. Okay, I'm on the opposite side of the car, and uh, we're going to go at the top of the reciprocating saw. I'm not going to show this and make a bunch of noise and put it on this video. Okay, so there it is. Recip saw. Nothing to it. Took it off. Okay, using an angle grinder now, we've cut kind of a U-shape on both sides all the way up as far as we can. What we're going to attempt to do now is with the reciprocating saw fit it in there. Now you can see what's left there, it isn't much. And there's the other half ready for the union. So here's the gap I'm left with, just under three inches. So I have this pipe, piece of uh, pipe butt splice that I got from Napa. It's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted the type with a couple bolts on it, but I decided let's just, this is a short gap to fill here. And I'm just going to trim it off, get a line on there, and uh, slide it in there. Don't forget to uh, clean these, these surfaces off. I brushed them off, kind of get some of the surface rust off, then go over it with a rag, you know, with some lacquer thinner. And then next we're going to get some uh, fresh tube of uh, pipe sealant and a couple clamps, put this thing all back together. So let's do a little test fit. Let's see if things are going to be able to pull this off. And there's enough free play in the uh, and the rubber hanger back there, and it looks like we're going to be able to get this in here. There. There it is. Hey, not bad. Okay, good practice. Put some sealant around the pipe mating surfaces here.
And I put a little bit of quantity on there. Then when you put the pipes together, they'll uh, seal better. Putty knife comes in handy here for this. Time to slip the pipes together. There we go. There it is. Gonna back this off enough. So that if we ever have to remove that oxygen sensor and get it off of there. Too much clamps. Okay, number two. Crank them down good. We're almost there. Evenly back and forth. Thanks for watching this video.